In this video, we take a look at two popular dog trainers, Caesar Milan and Zach George. Both have had successful careers training difficult dogs, but each trainer approaches dog behavior differently. Please share your thoughts in the comments. Which dog training techniques resonate most with you? Caesar Milan is a Mexican American dog trainer who gained popularity through his TV show Dog Whisperer with Caesar Milan on the National Geographic channel. He is known for his use of dominant and submissive dog training techniques, which involve establishing the owner as the pack leader and correcting unwanted behavior through physical touch and body language. Milan has worked with many high profile clients, including Oprah Winfrey, Scarlett Johansson, and Will Smith. In 2009, he founded the Caesar Milan Foundation, a nonprofit organization that aims to improve the welfare of dogs and humans through education, rescue, and rehabilitation. One of the positive stories about Caesar Milan is a case of Holly, a dog that was rescued by a couple in Los Angeles. Holly had severe anxiety and was afraid of everything, including her own shadow. The couple tried various trainers and techniques, but nothing seemed to work. They eventually reached out to Caesar, who worked with Holly and helped her overcome her anxiety. Today, Holly is a happy and confident dog. Next, we take a look at Zach George. Zach is an American dog trainer who rose to fame through his YouTube channel, where he shares dog training tips, techniques, and advice. He is known for positive reinforcement training methods, which involve rewarding good behavior and ignoring or redirecting unwanted behavior. George has written several books on dog training and behavior, including Dog Training Revolution and Zach George's Guide to a Well-Behaved Dog. In addition to his YouTube channel and books, George offers online dog training courses and hosts a podcast called The Dog Training Revolution. One of the positive stories about Zach George is a case of Jax, a dog that was surrendered to a shelter in Los Angeles because his previous owner just couldn't handle his energy and behavior. Jax was adopted by a family who worked with Zach George to train him using positive reinforcement methods. Today, Jax is a well-behaved and beloved member of the family. Let's talk about techniques. So dogs are born nose, eyes, ears. Dog training is ears, eyes, nose. So it changes the way the dog learns about the world in his natural way. I like to teach people natural, simple, profound. Milan's training technique is based on the idea that dogs are pack animals and that they need a strong leader to follow. He uses a combination of body language, energy, and touch to establish himself as the pack leader and correct unwanted behavior in dogs. Milan's techniques involve a lot of physical touch and body language. For example, he often uses a quick correction to correct unwanted behavior, such as a tug on the leash or a touch on the dog's neck or back. Milan also emphasizes the importance of exercise and discipline in a dog's life. He recommends that owners provide their dogs with plenty of physical exercise, such as walking or running, as well as mental exercise, such as obedience, training, and socialization. George's training techniques are based on positive reinforcement, which involves rewarding good behavior and ignoring or redirecting unwanted behavior. George uses treats, praise, and toys to reward dogs for good behavior, such as sitting or staying on command. He also uses techniques called capturing, which involves rewarding a dog for doing something good on their own, such as lying down or just staying calm. When a dog exhibits unwanted behavior such as jumping or barking, George uses techniques such as redirecting the dog's attention to a toy or a treat, or ignoring the behavior until the dog calms down. George also emphasizes the importance of training and socialization in a dog's life. He recommends that owners provide their dogs with regular training sessions and opportunities to interact with other dogs and people. It's worth noting that both Caesar Milan and Zach George have different approaches to dog training, and there is some controversy surrounding Milan's use of dominant and submissive techniques. How to correct him. Hey. Hey. Ultimately, the best training technique will depend on the individual dog and their personality and behavior. If you're a dog lover, comment below. Caesar Milan or Zach George, which training techniques do you prefer?